Hi, Alicia Carter here. I'm just going to hop right into week four. So the show that I chose to do was Grey's Anatomy. Um, the episode that I chose is an episode that includes like a bombing and everything and it's a two-part um, kind of like storyline. So I chose to do the second part because it was very dramatic. Um, first question, what type of shot is most common in the show? There's definitely a mixture of all of the shots, but um, since the show was very dramatic and since like this was the second part of it, which relied heavily on everybody's reactions, there were lots of close-up shots in order of like what was used most to least. I would say close-up shots, medium shots, and then long shots. Um, but I definitely think that they were all incorporated, but, you know, if there was any kind of order, that would be it. Um, number two, give an example of a reaction shot from the episode. Okay, in the beginning of the episode, three of the hospital's interns are looking at the chief of, of surgery as he's very flustered, being that, you know, there's a bomb threat and everything. And at this point, you know, everybody knows all of that, but they don't know the exact specifics of what's going on and who was involved and all of that. So, um... The reaction shot is all of them standing around talking like trying because he's in another room with the blinds open um, on the phone and they're just kind of like peeping in like talking amongst themselves trying to figure out what's going on. Um, so he of course isn't talking and you can kind of see his reaction from everything and then as he come out comes out and he sees all of them like huddled around you can you know see see his reaction from that and also his reaction just from being on the phone like from the bombing and everything like that. Um, number three, what lighting is used in the show, bright or dark, are the characters ever obscured? Lighting is definitely bright, just being that the show mirrors a hospital, and you know, just naturally in hospitals, hospitals are very bright, they have very white, bright, fluorescent lighting, unless you're in like a creepy, sketchy hospital, but um, you know, for the most part, they're very bright, um, so since it, you know, mirrors that it is very bright, but in the specific scenes, um, in the OR room where the actual, like, so the whole setup of the show is that there is a person with a bomb inside of them. So the bomb squad is there, like we have to surgically remove this bomb without rupturing it. And a surgeon has her hand on the bomb, which makes the entire situation very compromising because she has to remain very, very still during this entire surgery holding this bomb. And as she moves it from point A to point B, from the human to the bomb person, you know, who's certified and trained in all of this, from there to, to in, in his hands, um, it's just very compromising. But in that specific scene, the lighting is a lot darker. I mean, you can definitely still see them, so I wouldn't say that the lighting is, that the characters are necessarily obscured. I mean, you can definitely still see them, tell who they are. They're not like silhouetted or shadowed or anything, but it is dramatically darker. Um, just create that mysterious, dramatic, and, you know, unsure of the situation at hand effect. Number four. During quiet scenes, what sounds do you hear? Um, so since it's a hospital and since like in the scene, they are, um, the scene that I chose, which, you know, kept coming because it's very important, um, was that in, in the room with the person with the bomb in them, it's very quiet. However, you can still hear the heart rate monitor going throughout the whole thing. So even though no one's talking, you can still hear that. And um, they have very dramatic song, Just Breathe, playing, which definitely fits the mood. Um, and then suddenly the bomb explodes, and so you can hear all of the explosion and the sounds of glass breaking, the building rupturing, debris falling, things catching on fire, and all of the chaos that it physically causes but there are no sounds from the actual characters. You can't hear the, the characters scream. You can't hear them gasping. You can't hear them crying. Like, you can't hear anything, any of that, but you can definitely still hear everything else that's going on to create that effect. Um, 
Number five, for a five minute period, time the length of shots. On average, how long is a take? Would you classify the show as quick cutting or long takes? It's definitely quick cutting. Um, a take. Mm. A take is probably just like a few seconds long. Um, I would say like 15 to 30 seconds, absolute max. But it is definitely very quick cutting. Um, number six, how would you describe the overall production design of the show? What do the sets, location, and costumes suggest to you? What type of feel do you get from the show? Um, the book describes the TV production to be television production is far more cautious, economical, and standardized, being dependent upon turning out material on a regular basis in a uniform way. Drama and comedy produced for TV have been intended for episodic series, and that intention drives their style. Um, and it was saying that in contrast to, like, theatrical releases and stuff. You know, if you go to a theater show, you know, like, production is extreme. I mean, production for, for TV series and everything is also expensive. But, like, production for, like, something like Wicked is literally, like, millions. Like, out of this world expensive just with, like, everything that goes into producing this effect in person at one time versus you know things that are set up to um you know that are intended for episodic series you know they definitely last much much longer so they definitely budget things different so just I guess like kind of like in terms of the production design it's a lot more like the book said it's a lot more um cautious economical and standardized just since they have to keep redoing it and redoing it and redoing it um the overall feel that I get from Grey's Anatomy is very dramatic. It is definitely one of the leading TV dramas in the U.S. for a reason. And they use dramatic production in every aspect, not just in their scenarios and storylines, but also in their production. From lighting to the soundtrack to the music to camera shots and angles, they pretty much master the art of being dramatic in every aspect. But at the same time, it's very believable. So that is all that I have for week four, um, chapter three. So yeah, talk to you guys next week.